Hey, what's going on everybody? I wanted to jump on real quick, give you an update regarding uh, the coronavirus, COVID-19, and the service schedule for Everyday Church. I don't have access to any information that you don't have access to, and I won't insult your intelligence by trying to explain something that I don't really understand myself. What I will tell you is that I've met with our leadership team, with our staff multiple times. We've spent extensive time in prayer trying to decide what was right for us. I've sought outside counsel, talked to some of my pastor friends, and uh, ultimately what we've decided to do was to follow the path of peace. For us, what gave us the most peace is for the next two weeks, beginning March 22nd, also March 29th, we will meet online only, meaning we will not meet here at the church, but we want to encourage you to join us online at a regular time at 10 a.m. And so we will broadcast live. I will be here at the church with uh, my family and some staff members, and we're going to lead worship. We're going to have you know time of prayer. We'll have a message. We're going to have some kids' activities. We want to encourage you as a family on Sunday at 10 a.m. just to join around your phone, your computer, whatever it is that you have that you can watch that on for Facebook Live. And just join in with us and let's have church in that manner. In the next 24 hours, just be looking for maybe a song list so that you can uh, download or print words out if you want to sing along with us. There also possibly would be a supplies list, some things in your house that you might uh, have that you can use for uh, a game that will be happening with our kids. And so we just want this to be an interactive time for our family. I also want to encourage you as a family and on a personal level to also follow the path of peace. Because it doesn't matter what other people are doing. It doesn't matter what people think you should do. It doesn't matter what the media says. None of that matters. Well, what matters is the Spirit of God on the inside of you giving you peace when you go to make a decision. And that could be something as simple as pulling up to the store to go in and get a few things. And as you start to go in, you have what some old timers call a Holy Ghost uh-uh or a check in your spirit or what the Scripture calls an unction from the Holy One. On the inside, you just have this, ah, I don't know, this doesn't feel right. I would encourage you to listen to that from the inside. Now, don't operate in fear, obviously, but if you have a check in your spirit, listen to that and follow the path of peace, even if it's something as simple as going to a specific store. And maybe that sounds dumb, uh, but that's what I'm going to be doing with my family. That's what we're doing with the church. And so um, I encourage you to do the same. Uh, I would also encourage you, because we won't be meeting physically, to move your tithes and offerings to the online giving platform. That's something that we... We don't push that a lot. It's more there as a convenience. But in this season, if you would just move that to the online platform, it would be greatly appreciated for us. You can do that at everydaychurch.xyz. Click on donate. You can set that up recurring if you like. Do a one-time gift. However you would like to do that would be fine. Love you guys. We won't see you Sunday in person, but we'll see you online hopefully. Let me pray for us and we'll be done. God, I thank you that you're in control. I thank you, God, that you are, that you're not surprised by any of this. And I thank you that you're going to move in our lives and in our families. And I pray blessing and protection on every family that's connected to Everyday Church. God, I thank you for it. I bless them in the name of Jesus. Amen.